Hey, Terry, how are you? I'm all right. Terry, how are you? That's a really interesting question, especially during this season. And today, we're going to talk about what's really going inside every single one of us. Stay tuned. Hey there, welcome. We're so glad that you've joined us today. We have entered into a new series. This is a series that's it's very important. It's, it's a series that needs to happen. It's a difficult series for us, but with the rise of COVID, it has become even more important for us to talk about mental health. And so this new message series, Pastor Terry, is, it's entitled, We See You. And this Sunday, as you started to open up that topic for us, you talked about margin, which is just a great principle in every walk of life. I mean, we just came out of our financial series. Yes. Definitely need some margin yes, there. Yes. Um, but what does it look like to have margin from a mental health perspective? And does the Bible even talk about these kind of things? That's a great thing. You know, when we think about margin, many of us, when we fall into uh, an issue with mental health, and when I say mental health, whether that's despair, whether that's just a season of life that is really difficult, mm -hmm. um, we tend to want to know, how do I get out of this? You know, how do I, how do I move forward in this? And, um, and so many individuals go to, you know, a lot of different counselors and, which, and can get some wonderful advice. Right. Um, but I know a lot of followers of Jesus, Christians, you know, they just want to know, does God have anything to say? Does God address it? Does God really have any truth that can help me to be able to grab truth, hold on to it, so that way uh, in the future when I fall into these places, um, I know exactly where to go. And, and I want to start by reading a passage of Scripture because there's a famous parable, and a, a, not even a parable, a famous story mm -hmm. with regards to uh, an interaction that Jesus have, has with a couple of individuals. So let me read this. This comes from John chapter 11, verse 20 to 23. It says that when Martha heard that Jesus was coming, she went out to meet him, but Mary stayed at home. Lord, Martha said to Jesus, if you had been there, my brother Lazarus would not have died. But I know that even now God will give you whatever you ask. And Jesus said to her, your brother will rise again. One of the most important aspects of that is what we talk about the brain, and we talked about this Sunday, about the logical side of the brain and the emotional side of the brain. And when you look at Jesus' interaction with Martha, Martha was approaching Jesus um, out of truly the logical side of her brain. Because while she's emotional and while she has impact, been impacted by this tragedy of her brother's death, she basically looked at Jesus and, Jesus, I know the truth. I know that through you, anything that is asked will be received. That the truth is you're God. The truth is, is that you're in control. The truth is, is that you can give whatever it is that I need in this moment. And so I trust you. What an amazing discussion with regards to a logical side of speaking to truth. So the first thing that I would say is, is that in moments where we have despair, mm -hmm. in seasons where we struggle, the first principle is I need to try to really grab truth. I need to lean to that logical side in the moment and grab truth because that truth will really help me to center and give me more margin in my life. So Martha really displayed right. that logical right. side of the brain. I love that. I love the fact that it's Martha as well because I think oftentimes it's a generalization, I realize. Yeah. But as a generalization, as men, we tend to be a little more rational when we get into those situations. Maybe we're accused of not being very empathetic. And so it's really great to see Martha step forward and go, okay, I'm going to approach this. I'm going to look at the whole issue. And so that's a great setup for understanding what it looks like to approach it from a logic standpoint. Is there a similar example yeah. that taps into that, that empathy? You use, you use that great word, and, and that great word is empathy. And, and I, I kind of chuckle and laugh sometimes because um, I, I definitely don't have the spiritual gift of empathy. <laughs> I, I am, I'm told that many times by many different individuals. Could you have softened that a little? And, and I've learned over the years to be able to really practice empathy, and, mm -hmm. that, and that's a good word, practice, because sometimes we have to practice different aspects that, sure. that are important. But when you speak to the emotional, um, a little later on, Jesus actually runs into Mary. Mm -hmm. And so here you see Mary, and I want you to watch the interaction between he and Mary. And it says this in John 11, 32 to 35. When Mary reached the place where Jesus was and saw him, she fell at his feet and said, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. And when Jesus saw her weeping and the Jews who had come along with her also weeping, he was deeply moved in spirit and troubled. Mm. Where have you laid him? He asked. Come and see, Lord, they replied. And Jesus wept. Yeah. 
Now, what I love about this is, is Jesus knew where Lazarus was. Jesus knew everything that had already happened. But I want you to recognize that Mary came very emotional, very just heart-ridden and just tragic and all those emotions that come along with it. And she approaches Jesus just out of just emotion and says, Jesus, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. And Jesus looks at her and instead of just saying logically, Mary, am I not the son of God? Yeah. Mary, it's going to be okay. Mary, suck it up. Instead of saying those things, which I might have said, he looked at her and he empathized with her. And we see that famous two-word passage of yep. scripture that Jesus wept. Why did Jesus weep? He wept because he practiced empathy. Mm -hmm. He wept because he saw the emotions and the hearts of the people he loved, and he was able to tap into that emotion, and he was able to truly connect with Mary in that moment. And that really is the word that I think when we start to look at margin, what is that magic word? And it's connection. Do we have the ability as individuals to come around one another and to be able to empathize, to be able to really connect with an individual at a deeper level, to help them to build margin so that they can tackle the difficult moments of their tragedy mm -hmm. that they're going through. Well, last thing that I want to say about this is when we're able to not only connect with the emotional, but also at the same time understand the logical, and that's what Jesus modeled. When we're able to connect those, we're able to repair what's been disconnected. Mm -hmm. And really, when you think of the word despair, that word despair is something that has been disconnected. It's disrepaired. And so when you can connect logic and emotion, you repair what's been disconnected, which then allows us to use the word rational, allows us to get back to a place where we truly can have margin and we can approach a situation level-headed. And we just have to, we have to exercise caution, don't we? What I love about what Jesus did is he met each of those ladies where they were. That's right. There was no judgment. So one of them approached it from a logical standpoint. He met them where they were. The other approached it from an emotional. I think sometimes we can get into a place of, of why are you here? It's what you were saying earlier, like pull up your bootstraps That's or right. why not think through this more or why aren't you feeling something like I am? That's right. And so I love that he just acknowledged where they were and tried to be in that moment. With that's them. right, that's right. And I think we're gonna talk in the next few weeks about what it truly means to understand, like you just articulated, what it means to understand what an individual needs and how that you can play a part in helping them. Mm. Well, that was great advice. And I hope it's been helpful to you. I don't know about you, but I think that's just gonna help even in my marriage, because oftentimes as husbands and wives, we can come at it from different sides. So there is much more to come. We hope that you will continue to join us. Please join us on Sundays, whether you're here in person or online. This is a series you do not wanna miss. Thanks for joining us.